Does it even look, look like a hook vehicle? It's total, total hook. Yeah. That's, in fact, I'm pretty sure it was going to be part of the merchandising, but <laughs> that deal fell through. It with, did, yeah. With Playmates, because they were busy with Ninja Turtles. Stupid Playmates, they always fuck shit up. Yeah, except for Ninja Turtles. Yeah, well. <laughs> So, but yeah, so then the property just got subsumed into this video game. Mm -hmm. So it may not be an actual thing, toy you can hold in your hand, but it's the next best thing. Dave Bowie's almost dead. No, he's okay. Nah, he's fine. This wizard is just, he's trying to take everybody with him. Yeah. I'm on my death's door, and I shall burn the world with me. He's saruman -ing. Saruman? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what Chris Frilly did before he died. Killed a bunch of people. Yeah, that's right. He had that gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Wait, look, that's pretty. <laughs> yeah, he just showed up at like, what was it, like a home hardware or something? <laughs> <laughs> a random place. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Open fire. <laughs> and then dropped the gun and he, he dropped not too long after that. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even kill himself because oh. he knew it was happening. Because <laughs> like he could feel his body like hardening, like he was like rigor mortis was setting in. Yeah, and then he just turned into stone. But it was <laughs> yeah, and he like he like uh, took on a really cool pose right before he died. <laughs> <laughs> now that was Soraman. He was he was badass. Badass to the very end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but he was uh, listening to Marilyn Manson the night before, and that's why he decided to yeah, and, spring. Yeah, and, and he went bowling too, I think. Mm. Oh, Marilyn. Oh, well. She had a good run. <sighs> yeah, so a lot of people are reopening the conversation about Marilyn Manson. Are we? Is he, is he causing these sprees? Is it video games? I'm inclined to think it is. Like this, Absolutely. this is very violent. I wasn't violent before I played this game, but now I am. Seeing all these guys die makes me just want to kill. I'm mad. Ren's dead. Somebody's got to pay. <laughs> I feel like people don't uh, don't understand me, and yeah. uh, I want to murder people. I want to die for them. <laughs> <laughs> to bring it full circle. Yeah. Okay. And and the uh, this is the Spencer tape again. <laughs> yeah, no, I follow you. It was like other stuff too about like Satan is my lord. Satan is my lord. Isn't he? I want to die for the new world order. Satan is my lord. Yeah. Just over and over again until Satan became my lord and. Well, yeah. If you hear something enough times, you just have you start to, to believe, believe it. it. Yeah. Just, you can't always be denying it. Yeah. Yep. You know what? He's, a, he's an okay guy. Well, there's this thing. It was going around the old FB mm -hmm. talking about like, oh, there's nothing in the Ten Commandments about raping women. It doesn't say anything about that. But the fourth rule of Satanism is something like, uh, do not make sexual advances unless the person is giving the mating signal or something. Uh, so yeah. It's pretty sad when Satanism has a leg up on freaking consent. Absolutely. I yeah. Mean, what a world we live in, it's right? Because Satan has our best interests at heart, unlike holier than thou, <laughs> Jesus over there. JC all up <laughs> on high. He's like, oh, am I Jesus? Am I God? Am I a ghost? Uh, all, or all of the above, maybe. <laughs> He's just a flip flopper. Yes. He He's tricky dicky. <laughs> That was his nickname in high school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old Tricky Dicky over well, here making always, water into wine. They always skip over those middle years of JC. Like, it's like, oh, he's a baby, now he's 30 and he's gonna die. Yeah. And it's like, no, he was kind of, he was a bit of a dick in between. He the, was a showboating teenager once, yeah. too. Yeah, well, and on the football field. Oh, yeah. And, like, he thought because he had that Letterman jacket that it was every woman's at school, every girl's and that privilege to date him. And that doesn't give you permission no. to make advances where... No. Advances aren't wanted. No, like every day he would go to like the next girl and wrap his jacket around their shoulders. Yeah, thinking, exactly. You're cold, baby. <laughs> well, and and there was that time when uh, he saw Satan uh, just studying, you know, just That's reading right. a book on yeah. his own, and then he used a levitation spell to uh, turn him upside down and, and like right. reveal his underwear to yeah, the entire his class. Yeah, dirty, greasy underwear. Absolutely, I and that. and Satan was embarrassed, and yeah. it, it, that it, was a formative episode in his life. You could argue. Absolutely, and the, the sad thing is that uh, the the 
chick that he was, uh, he was, Satan was actually trying to get with. Yeah, Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, yeah. yeah. Uh, she saw all of that, and, yeah. you know. Even though they were friends, childhood friends, she mm-hmm. kind of turned her nose up after that. Cause... Which is offensive. Yeah. And I don't know, I feel like Satan didn't, didn't... Well, she was all like, oh, pure blood like Jesus over there. Totally. He's got pure wine blood, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I mean, Satan, he's a half-blood, so. Yeah, part angel, part human. Totally. How do I get that treasure chest? I don't know. Do you have a boat? Oh, you can only get it in that battle. Uh, we goofed. We goofed. Oh, well. Commit suicide. Nah, it'll always be a secret now. Nah. No, here's what we'll do. We'll start over the game. Okay. Get back to this point and just splice it in to the video. Perfect. Okay. Bear with us. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Granville Force. What? Well, what? What? I heard a voice from the other side of the door. <laughs> I, no, what should his voice be? I don't know. So is he a devil? He is a devil. But he's, he's one of the greater devils. But he's not the greatest. No, he, like Zeon is right, ostensibly okay. the greatest. I had the Zeon voice and it was all like... <laughs> so, so this one will be... <clears throat> I'm the bird. I'm one of the greater that was. Pretty good. To come in, of course, you can go back now and abandon that. Sir Astro. Greater devil attack, but do is as strong as a Vulcan. Are you talking about Serana? Do you mind against Vulcan on a bit? Yes, any last. I can't believe it, our eyes are strong as an ever But we haven't been able to go back to lately. <laughs> like, every time they send him a message and they're like, it's on Facebook and they're like, oh, it doesn't say viewed. <laughs> you like, doesn't he look at his phone? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is good news for me. If I get the view, all of evil, I can take his place. Oh, that's how it works, you know, perfect oh, ladder. Now enter the shrine magic. What should we do? A greater devil awaits us inside. <laughs> Wait for mm, Odd eye, odd eye, odd eye. Sorry, Astral. <laughs> odd eye, odd eye, odd eye, odd eye. Odd eye, odd eye, odd eye, odd eye. I think I've heard that name before. Sir Astral. Hmm. It's chewing bubblegum. <laughs> Sir Astro! Whoa! Oh, that's gonna scare me. Whoa, that's gonna scare me. Look around here. Should we go into the shrine now? <laughs> like, basically do it already. Oh, sorry. Is that supposed to be humor? Or what's going on here? I guess, I don't know. I think he's deep in thought. He's an odd duck. Zelda, at least uh, he's not as strong as Odd Eye. Oh, I get it. He's like weighing me. The odds. But still, he's a greater devil. We had better complete our preparations before we go in. Right, the evil rights. Okay. okay. No, remember, he sings everything. Right. Okay! <laughs> now that's David Bowie. To a T. Lucky. What are our preparations? Are we slaying a goat and strewing its blood about? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, There's let's a couple the chickens goat. to kill. Hey, you know, they say that really gets my goat. <laughs> 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 Good. Jump. Ah, I twisted my ankle. Healing seed. Whoa. Give it to Mondu. Come on, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he yeah. doesn't do that. He'll make it into brown magic spell. Oh, they got it. This is off topic. They got a vegan breakfast cookie now at Brood Awakening. I heard that. And they've got Brood Awakening at Campion now at the university. Oh, really? Yeah, it's replacing. It replaced Henderson's. Uh, that's a big question mark. What's the question? Oh, but what is it asking? That, that's the question. What? But anyways, it's good cookie. I got yeah. one. It's like huge. It's like almost. Oh. It's slightly not even sweet, but kind of. A, it's sort of like a muffin. Oh yeah. It's sort of really seedy, cranberry. Ooh, that sort sounds of good. Hearty. Yeah. Yeah. Hearty, hearty, hearty. Yeah. I only ever really get uh, the ones at 
like the Thir vegan power bars and the uh, chocolate cookies at 13th, 13th Avenue. Yeah. yeah. Every year at the freaking arts festival. festival, I get one of those cookies because yeah. I usually never go to the <laughs> yeah, yeah. house. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of bad blood with them these days. They kicked me out once when I was yeah, trying to picture. That. You were trying to do your thing. Yeah. They they just got identity issues because they're like, what are we trying to be? Are we a restaurant? Are we a coffee shop? We're one little room. That's oh. what we are. Also, like they've changed owners like 20 yeah, times in the last year. Changed custody like a string of foster parents. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, a lot of the vegans in town just like them because they've been kind of rude about veganism. Yeah, I've seen some of the drama on Facebook. Yeah. It's uh, it's funny. Yeah. It's, it's I laugh about it. It's the basis of my new novel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called Brood Awakening. Is the novel. <laughs> yeah. Brood Awakening is financing it. Yeah. Hey, who's Ooh. that? Who's that? Who's that lady? That's, uh, that's Machula. Wow. And, uh, she's got two little angels that and are, are they jerking her off. This is a sort of. <laughs> no, I think that's that's the jewel of good. The ghoul of Jud. The ghoul of Jud. Well, it reminds me of, like, Greek shit. Uh, how, like, the frickin' uh, um, pomegranate is used to represent, uh, like, menstruation, womanhood. Oh, man. Because they, they give it to what's her face? Uh, Persephone? Right, yeah. Who Hades abducts, and it's like all a metaphor for her entering sexual hood and nice. shit. Nice. Yeah, so pomegranates, man. Don't eat them. It's gross. <laughs> you don't want to know where they've been. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna go in here. Yeah, let's see the bigger devil. There's a great big fucking battle in here. It's not a lesser devil. Alright. Okay. I want to go pee first. Okay. Pause the game. <laughs>